Let's go. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's JP. Uh, it's been a long time since we made a video. Um, probably since Father's Day weekend. And it is July 1st. So, I've been uh, really busy and adjusting to having uh, a new baby here. So he's now a little over three weeks. And um, Sunday, so I got a little bit of time just gonna try and hopefully see what I can bang out as far as this electrical work. So first thing I did was uh, using the Rugged Ridge A pillar. So I just cut that out. Uh, the top hole I used an uh, a knife to cut out, and that took forever. So the bottom three I used the rotary tool, and it went really fast. So I would highly recommend using a rotary tool when doing that. Um, I'm gonna pop in the switches and uh, show you what the what the switch panel is gonna look like with my switches in. All right, so my top my top switch is gonna be my air compressor. You can see how that fits in there. And my next one is gonna be. My bumper lights, those are for my uh, KC lights that I have on the uh, bumper that I, the J8 bumper I got going on. So those are those guys. Uh, rear lights. Good. And roof light bar. So the air compressor is the ARB compressor that I have already installed, so that's for that. The bumper lights uh, for my KC lights that I have on the J8 bumper. Rear lights and the roof rack don't have yet, but I'm just going to wire everything right now, just so it could be wired. So the only thing I have to do is uh, wire it to the uh, fuse relay box and it'll be a simple install. So that's what I got going on here on the A-pillar. All right, the other thing uh, I'm going to be doing is adding um, six switches, three which I have, or actually five switches and a power source, which is this guy. Just got to put it back together. Um, so right there is the uh, USB power source and rear locker, front locker. So those are just going into place now. Um, so once I have uh, the lockers installed, it'll be ready to go. Um, so this is going to go, and it's going to go right here. So um, I actually measured it out, and it looks like it's going to fit um, fit nice and snug in here. So I'm just going to mark it out, and then uh, cut it with the Dremel, and uh, see how that works. Probably going to follow this line for the bottom, and then come up and over. I gotta leave some gap here and leave some extra here so it uh, lips over, but we'll see what happens. Alright, so there's the outline. Uh, when checking it, six won't fit, so I'm gonna do five. Uh, it's just fine. That gives me two extra switches here besides the uh, power source and the locker and the two lockers. So, all right, I'm gonna cut that out now. Um, I've checked behind. There's nothing really that I'm gonna cut into. So, hopefully, uh, yeah, it works out. <laughs> Cut out. Hopefully it fits. 
All right, so I just test fit the corner so uh, the height is right, so it fits in there snug. All right, that's all I'm gonna do for right now because it's 95 degrees out, I'm sweating through my clothes, and I'm gonna come back out later when it's cooler. And also Croatia's playing Denmark, so I wanna see that game. All right, uh, stay tuned for more. Thank you.